Hi everyone, welcome to Sing For Your Supper. We're back again on Thursday night, which is our regular night, and we've got some fun things for you tonight. First of all, I want to introduce my guest. My guest is Julie Ewing. Julie and I have done lots of shows together, but she's a wonderful cook, wonderful director. Say hi to the audience. Hi, audience. <laughs> and I want to say, because it's a picnic episode, yes. hey, hey, Kevin! Perfect. <laughs> do you might know who that is? If you do, Anyone? put it in the comments, and we'll tell you a little bit later. <laughs> so Julie and I met, oh, many, many years ago. We were doing Theater in the Park, and I, we were doing uh, Bye Bye Birdie. And um, that's the first time we worked together. That was the first time. And that was maybe your first show in town? That was my first show in town, oh, yes. Wow. It was the last show of the season. It was so hot. Do you remember how hot it was? I remember how hot it was. And I was wearing a coat. Everybody else was wearing pajamas running all over the place. But since then, <laughs> we've moved up through the ranks, gotten a little bit older, a little bit wiser, and now we're directing at the park. And we would have been there this week with your show. Actually, last week. Actually, last week. We went close Saturday. And you were doing what show? Newsies. Newsies. And I was going to do open the season with Cinderella, but we didn't get to do that. So this whole picnic thing kind of ties us together in a kind of a fun way. Absolutely. So tonight we're going to do three recipes for you. I'm doing a fried chicken sandwich, which is the Shake Shack recipe. I think you'll really like it. We're going to do it in two parts. What are you doing, Julie? I'm doing a Asian cold salad. Asian cold salad. That's yes. very good. With my lovely udon noodles. <laughs> oh, lovely. Mm. And then we're going to close with ooey gooey butter cake. Yum. Yes, no calories in that. I bet you can figure that out already. So we're going to start with our marinade for our chicken. So I've got two cups of buttermilk here, and I'm going to put a whole, let me put this over here so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to put a whole jalapeno in there, cut it in half, and we're going to leave the seeds in. Ooh. Throw it right in there. I've got two cloves of garlic, and we're just going to crush those. And take the wrapper off <laughs> and then throw that right in there. Now, are you not worried about those peppers sitting on your hands? Because, like, I, I can see <laughs> seeds on your hands. Yes, I am worried about that. You know what I learned earlier this week? You don't want to work with jalapenos and then go work with your contacts. Not a good thing not to do. Not a good, not thing. A good yes. thing to do. We will but we're pretend gonna... like you learned that years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to keep our hands away from our eyes for a there little we while. Go. All right, I've got one shallot. I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise, and then I'm going to cut it up. You don't have to be so handy with this, because it's just going to be the marinade. So nothing's really special about it. So cut up both sides. You know, Kevin, just like yes. theater, there are no small parts. <laughs> just small shallots. <laughs> shallow right. shallots. Shallow shallots. So we're going to throw those in there. And then we have a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of pepper that goes in there. We're going to mix that up. Oh, that's a little baby whisk. Yes. Nice. So that's basically the marinade. That's not basically, it is the marinade. <laughs> and so what we'll do is we'll put our chicken breasts in there. And we will, I've got some in the refrigerator already. It's been soaking for 24 hours. So I'm going to put this over here. We don't need that right now. We'll pull those out when we're ready to bread the chicken in just a few minutes. Let me get rid of my scraps here. Can I, I do that for you? Sure, but don't touch it. I want you to get your, okay. in your eyes. We're going to work on the dressing for the sandwiches now. Let me wash this off real quick. This is a buttermilk mayonnaise dressing, and it is to die for. It's so good. Oh, yeah. It's almost better than sandwich. I sometimes just eat it plain over oh. All right, so we've got a cup, as Ina says, good mayonnaise. Good. Good mayonnaise. Nothing with miracle in it. No, <laughs> no miracles. And then we've got two tablespoons of, of buttermilk. So put that in there. And we've got, you can't even see it, but it's right there. We've got one tablespoon of white vinegar. Ooh, I can that smell goes, it though. Yep. We're just going to mix that up a little bit. Get that vinegar in there. Now, what you all don't get to see, because you're not in Kevin's <laughs> kitchen, is he has some excellent gadgets. So if Lots you are a cook, yes. you will uh, have a little envy over Kevin's lovely kitchen and all the gadgets. Come get a gadget. That's yes. right. Yes. All right. We're going to put two tablespoons of green onion in. Whoop. Mostly goes in. 
and we're going to put uh, one tablespoon of parsley. I have this terrible habit of picking the bowl that I can get everything in, and then when I start to stir it, it's not big enough. All right, and then these are chives, one tablespoon of chives, and then a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. And that's our dressing. So we'll mix that up. Ooh, I Look, see. I just barely made it. Yeah, but it looks delicious. Well, I'm going to let you taste it. Why don't you grab a spoon out of the oh. drawer there, and I'll let you taste it. Twist this is going to chill for a few minutes. You could also use this on fish, I think. Oh, I bet. Uh, it it's kind of like a tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. So remember, it's going to taste different when it's colder, but take a taste of that and see what you think. Mm. <laughs> see what I mean? That is really good. Get a spoon soon for the TV. Nice old time. Yes. All right. I'm going to put that in the refrigerator while you start your salad. Okay, wonderful. Well, like I said, I'm making a Asian salad tonight because we're going on a picnic, so we want to have a cold salad. And I used udon noodles. Sometimes people like to use spaghetti. Other people like to use... Um, Chinese egg noodles, but I like udon because they're just a little thicker if you can kind of see. Yes, they I'll are. This up. It's very thick. What else do you use noodles. udon noodles for? Um, well, I make Korean beef bowls, and I, I have, my youngest son Truman is not a rice guy. Uh -huh. So we always have um, udon on hand because he likes his over udon noodles. Nice. So nice. I'm going to make my sauce and I got this lovely pampered chef. This is my own, from my own kitchen that I got lovely. from Kevin Bogan. You have the smaller one and I have the larger one. Oh, yay, right. looky there. So to make our sauce, I'm going to, I grated some ginger, which smells wonderful. Smell that. Mmm, nothing like fresh smoking. ginger. Yes. I that grated, says Asian. It that does, does say, say Asian. Asian. I, uh, this is one tablespoon. Then I have uh, one tablespoon of I'm move sesame these over here oil. So they can see you do your dressing. Oh yes, thank you. Uh -huh. One tablespoon of sesame oil, and I have three tablespoons of rice vinegar. Yeah. In there, and you know, strangely enough. Walmart has a really good selection of Asian food and sodas oh, wow. uh, products, and so does Target. So if you're oh, ever wondering you where to get stuff, it's really good. And this is uh, three tablespoons of soy sauce, mm. and I do low sodium. Do you do all big sodium or low sodium, Kevin? I try to do low sodium on the soy sauce because it's too salty. It can be too salty, be. and you want to be able to season your, right, it can overpower it. Yeah, and that's um, why I use unsalted butter and everything too, because you can add salt to it, but you you can't take it away if you use salted butter. And I love salt, and it's the <laughs> regular is a little too salty for me, and I'm a salt girl. Yeah. Uh, sriracha, it mm. usually calls for two or three tablespoons, but my family always thinks that's a little too much because it's so spicy. It's very. It's like spicy. a spicy ketchup. Yes. It's like ketchup with horseradish. Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do something else while I mix this up, or no. do you want me to keep let's, going? Let's talk about some Broadway shows that have picnic themes. Okay, let's do. I think there might be a Broadway show called Picnic. Picnic. It's, now, it's not a musical. It's not a musical. But we no. can talk about it, can't we? We can, absolutely. Yeah. Just we talk, theater. We talk about plays, too. Yeah. <laughs> we don't just start. And we do other yeah. stuff besides. That's just, true. That's yeah. true. So, yeah, we have to do all those sections where they talk before they sing. So it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So, Picnic was written in 1953 by William Inge. And where does William live? Well, he was from Independence, Kansas. That's right. He's not living anymore. Yeah. Should have said that. Yeah. Yes. He's from Independence, Kansas. And the show Picnic was done in 1953 on Broadway. And someone made their Broadway debut. Somebody very famous made their Broadway debut in that show. Oh, really? Do you know who it was? I don't. Do you think our audience does? Does anybody in the audience know? Who made their Broadway debut in Hello, are Picnic? you there? Are you there? Um, Brian would like to know what was in the bowl oh. when you started. Oh, Brian, <laughs> thank you. Crunchy peanut butter. It's you kind of important use, to the recipe. Yes, it is. <laughs> you can use creamy, but I like the chunky because then it gives a little peanut to it, too. A little crunch to it. Yeah. yeah. 
And you, I don't know how you're going to garnish it, but you could garnish it with some peanuts or some wonton noodles. Or something. You can, absolutely. So you get that little crunch in there. Absolutely. I'm going to use a little cilantro to garnish mine. Now, Barb is not cilantro, so we can do cilantro tonight because Barb is yes, not Yes, I here. remember that. Yes. I'm not cilantro either, but I'll eat it for you. Oh, thank you. Yes. It's not that much in there. <laughs> okay, so I've mixed my peanut sauce with my peanut butter and all of the makings, and I'm going to just oh. put it onto my udon noodles. I think you need those big noodles to hold up to that, that sauce. Uh, yeah, noodle. it's a little heavier. It's a little heavier. I'll put those in the... I'm gonna okay. use your great use whatever you like. Spatula here. My kitchen oh, is your kitchen tonight. Oh, I love that. Almost every night. Oh, we're okay. they're kind of neighbors. We we're are. only about five minutes away if you know exactly where you're going. If you know where you're going, <laughs> which I thought I did, and yeah. I drove down every wrong street. Yes. So um, I pre-chopped because I like to do that. Um, a cup of uh, yellow and red peppers, Yummy. a cup of cucumbers, uh -huh. I put a half cup of green onions, the recipe doesn't call for it, but I like green onions, and a half cup of cilantro. It's and your so recipe. You can tell oh, what, I think I'm going to mix these up. Mix it up. Let's go back to our picnic discussion. Yes, let's see. All right, has anybody figured out who made the Broadway debut? It was a man. Mm. He was also a man that it took him a long time to win an Oscar, and he was one that mm. everybody cheered for. You know, every year after he wins the Oscar, hmm. Paul Newman. Paul Newman. Paul Newman made his Broadway debut. Yes. Yeah. Paul Newman and Joanne yes. Woodward filmed the film here in Kansas City several years back. Oh, cool. Yeah. Does anyone know the name of that movie? Oh my gosh, we're getting all kinds of play out of this. Picnic. Yes, we are. <laughs> Just this one picnic reference. Now, did you know that Picnic was made into a movie? I did. It was made into a movie, and it got six Academy Award nominations. Wow. Yeah, so it's had a pretty hefty life. Now, this is something that you may not know. There was a musical version of Picnic. It's not really a musical. Oh. It was an opera. An opera oh, okay. of Picnic. And that was debuted at K-State. Oh, no, really? no. Uh, University of Kansas. University of Kansas. Okay. In, in 20, uh, 2008. Bad 2008. Oh, look at that. Well, isn't that beautiful? It's so colorful. It is colorful. It's a great little summer song. Okay, so we've talked about the play picnic. Let's talk about musicals that have picnics in them. There's got to be some. Yeah. Well, we know, oh, the farmer and the cowman should be friends. That's true. Oh, the farmer and the cowman should be friends. If one man likes to push a plow, push push a plow. the other likes to chase a cow, but that's no reason why they can't be friends. I think Is they, it chase I think they milk, milk the cow they here. They milk the cow? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Chasing the cow is a whole different thing. <laughs> well, ranchers had to go that's herd, true. herd the cows. Herd the cows, that's right. Yeah. yeah, so that's from Oklahoma. There's another food scene in Oklahoma, too. They have a pie auction, don't they? Well, a picnic basket. Picnic, picnic basket. Which, which is what we're doing. Okay. Exactly. So what would be in your picnic basket, and how much would <sighs> oh. it go for? Oh, it would go for a lot. Oh, I'm there sure. There would be a lot of sweets in mine. Oh, with a little. Yeah. Uh, like ice cream sorbet to cut the sweetness. Oh, I'd probably really? put that in there. Not ice cream, but sorbet. Mm -hmm. And then I would probably do, well, I'm a sucker for fried chicken. That's why we're doing fried chicken. Right. Now. That's yummy. That's lovely. That's Isn't lovely. it pretty? Yes. So, and then I'm pretty much done here. Right. But I'm going to put a little of my cilantro just on oh, top. Oh, yes. Just gonna garnish it on that here. one side. No, <laughs> I'm just on that kidding. one side. There's Isn't that lovely? There. Lovely. So, thank you, Julie. You're welcome. See there? Beautiful. Yum, yum. All right, we're going to go back to our chicken now. I have swapped out my marinade. This is the marinade I did earlier, and the chicken is in there. Ooh. So we're going to pull that out in just a second, but we're going to work on the breading first. And there is a secret to making this very crispy and yummy, so I'll tell you that in just a second. So into a three and a half cups of flour, which seems like a lot. But you'll see why in just a second where we've got so much. We're going to do four teaspoons of baking powder, mm -hmm. not baking soda. There is a different fo difference, mm -hmm. folks. And we're going to put in one tablespoon of smoked paprika. Yum. Get in there, smoked paprika. One tablespoon of cayenne, just to give it a little kick. A little kick. A little kick. Yeah. 
And it's a little humid tonight. It is a little, a little humid. soupy inside yeah, and out. A little soupy inside and <laughs> out. And one tablespoon of celery salt. Okay. Uh, celery seed, celery salt. And that's our marinade. And this is the Shake Shack chicken. Shake and Shack. Where did you find this recipe at? Um, I was watching the Food Network, which I sometimes watch, just sometimes. Just a little bit. And yeah. Ina Garten was making this, and oh, she said, her husband, you and Jeffrey, this is his favorite chicken sandwich. So. Okay. All right. So let me get a plate here. I'm going to host you this one. Because we're ready to dredge our chicken. Now, do you have a secret for dredging that doesn't get you all ooey gooey? There you go. There it is, the secret. I'm checking my, I've got some oil over here in the back. Um, maybe I should turn it on. That would be good. We want to get our oil to 350 degrees. Let's see where we are. I turned it on earlier. I was getting up there about 220, 230. Gonna let go for, it should be just about right by the time. You need to keep checking on that I one. Know. Um, okay, so we're going to take, I've got four chicken breasts in here, and what I've done is I've cut them in half, so lengthwise, so it's a half of the chicken breast, so they're a little thinner. You can also buy the thin, um, the thin slice, right. chicken breast, already sliced. And, you know, you can also ask your butcher yep. at your local grocery store to thin them for you. Yep. They will do that. Chuck says there's a picnic in Chitty Chitty. Oh, yes, there that's true. A There's a Chitty great Chitty. one. Yes, yes, right before the dream sequence. That's wonderful, Chuck. All right, so we've dredged our chicken. But <laughs> that's never enough. Okay. So we're going to put it back into the marinade, the buttermilk marinade. Oh, okay. And we're going to dredge it a second time. How about that? You have here. You want 350. And this is going to give us that great coating. So we want to get a lot of the flour in there. That's why we use three cups, three and a half cups. All right, so that's one. So the oven is preheated. We preheated the oven to 300 degrees because as we cook these, we're going to put them in the oven just to stay warm. All right, that's number two. So what did we do it twice, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Keeping count, that's number one. And where does it go now? Back, Back in. in. All right. While I'm doing this, let's talk about another show that's got a picnic in it. Well, one. I am thinking of okay. the picnic in 110 in the shade. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that one. Yeah. Does anyone know the song or the picnic scene in 110 in the shade? And who was in the latest revival on Broadway? Do you know? Mm. Who, who played Lizzie? I think I do. She uh, is like dynamite, and every time she's in something, she wins a Tony Award, if I'm thinking of the right you person. You are thinking of the right person, I yes. believe. Audra McDonald. Audra McDonald. Audra. Yes. And did you know that our very own Harry Linehan also played that role? At on Audra? Broadway? No. Oh, oh it's on Broadway. <laughs> I, really, I think that they were going to uh, tour with it first, oh, okay. and then have that production go on Broadway, Excellent. just to raise some funds first. Oh, no. But oh, Rachel was, got it. She knew. She, was, uh, she, yeah. she knew Audra. And, or did yeah. she know Carrie Lannigan? No, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel and Barbara both knew it was Audra. Oh, good, good. Oh, uh, Rachel says there's a picnic in Sunday in the Park with George. There is. There is. Because they're in the park. <laughs> there's another Sondheim. Well, there's, I think, a couple more Sondheims where there's a picnic. What other Sondheim musicals have picnics? Does anyone know? Barbara sure. says it's the second dredging that makes all the difference. It does. And I'm just going to dredge three because we're running a little short on time. We've got to get to our ooey gooey. Unbelievably, it's not hot enough, Kevin. Still? So that's okay. We'll start on our ooey gooey bars while that's warming up. Okay. And I'll put this over here. It's making my hand hot. Does that matter? <laughs> yes, that's good. So is there anyone that knows any other Sondheims that have Little Mike music? Little Mike yes. music. Ding, 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 ding. I love that. Pack up the luggage, la, la, la. I love that. Unpack the luggage. I sing that every time we go on vacation. All right, so for our ooey gooey, there's two uh, 
process us through this. So we're going to make the base and then we're going to make the topping. So we're doing that now. I'm going to put the stick of butter, stick of butter. This is a two stick of butter recipe. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the, uh, what's this called? Yes. Nothing fattening about two sticks of butter. No, not at all. And we're going to let that melt. Two sticks of butter reminds me one time when Paul and I were first married, we had friends over, and um, this lady brought over a one egg? cake, and it was the richest cake I've ever had in my life. Oh my God. And she proceeded to tell us it had six sticks of butter in it. Wow. And then throughout the evening, she told us she was bulimic. <laughs> and we were like, well, no wonder you can eat six sticks of butter. You're not keeping it in you. But it was delicious, I'm not gonna lie. Sticks of butter is off a good cake. And I'm not making light of her that we're believing. So I put uh, one egg into a yellow cake mix, just any kind of yellow cake mix that you want to get from the grocery store. And we're gonna put this stick of butter right in here. Why do we always stop southern when we talk butter? Oh. One stick of butter in here. Turn this off. I'm gonna give you the pan. Okay. This is gonna go in. And I'm going to have you, once I get the butter in, I'm going to have you press that down into the bottom. Oh, okay. So this will be our first thing. I think I should wash my hands. Right over there, why don't you? And there's our butter. Watch my cord. I don't want to light up like the Christmas yeah. tree. All right, look at that. Yum. The butter it's makes gooey. all the difference. It's very gooey. This is the gooey part. We're going to do the ooey next. Nice. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to check your oil again. Alright. If we're at 350, we're ready to go. Alright, so you just want to get it moist. And you're all set there. Ooh, 352. Oh, we're good. Alright, so I'm going to let you pour, put this into the, the tray there and just Make a little bottom to it. Okay. I did wash my hands, so. And why don't you come around here and um, you can watch me do some frying. Where did my tongs go? Oh, there they are. Thank you. Wash them off. Do you need me to wash them now? No, I'll do it. Now, can you use those tongs in your oil? Yes. Really? Well, actually, I'm not going to put it in. I'm just going to drop it. Okay. All right. Woo! <laughs> She's behind me. All right, at 350, we're going to drop these in. I'm going to do two of them. Don't be excited. We're going to let that cook for two and a half minutes on each side. Alexa, set timer for two and a half minutes. Isn't Alexa great? Yeah, when she listens. Alexa, <laughs> set timer for two and a half minutes. Alexa, set timer for two minutes and 30 seconds. Two minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. All right, so we're going to fry them in here, two minutes and 30 seconds on each side, and then we're going to put, in, we're going to put them in the oven to keep them warm while we cook the other one, but we may not have time to cook the third one, so we'll just go ahead and assemble the sandwich. While that's cooking, I'm going to work on assembling the sandwich. Oh, look at that. Yummy. Great. And I'm going to let you, can you wash off those beaters? I can. And then I'm going to let you cream the cream cheese. Ooh. Another stick of butter. We are multitasking tonight. We are. We're, we're good at teamwork. We are good at teamwork. All right. Go back into the microwave. Oh, that chicken's looking good. Yes. Yeah, when I flip it, I'll have you come around and take a look at it. I'm going to move your salad over here, dear. Yes, here, do. So we can do our chicken when it comes off. Pack it up, please. It'd be smarter than you. <laughs> Turn that. Okay. There you go. And then that, that's the speed. Okay. Let's stop it and get it in there. 
Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. It's another locale my the <laughs> thing for your supper. You see how crispy this is, is getting in the there's the magic. Oh. Alexa, stop. Take a look at that folks. Now that's fried chicken. Alexa, set timer for two minutes and 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna leave that. 30 seconds, 30 minutes. That's the consistency you want there? That's perfect. Now nice. we're gonna put in two eggs. Just keep beating, baby. Okay. Keep that beat, beater on. Egg two. Egg two. That sounds very French. Egg two. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out. I wonder if there are any French shows with picnics in them. Let's not push it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna work on assembling our sandwich so it's ready to put the chicken on when it comes off. So this is that. Oh, it smells even better. Oh. Than mm, yes. That's so good. All right, so we're gonna put a nice dollop of the mayonnaise buttermilk dressing on the bottom of this brioche bun. Mm. Love brioche, look how shiny the top is. Isn't that beautiful? Then we're gonna put a leaf of lettuce on here. And you want that to just come off the side. See how it's coming off the side? Mm, so good. I'm using bread and butter pickles for this because I like the oh, sweetness yeah. of the bread and butter pickle. Now, did you make those yourself? I or? did not. Okay. I did not. My mother makes them and they're great. She won't give me the recipe. She says, just let me make them for you. Fine. These are not homemade. All right, and one more dollop. Thanks, super. And when you get that in there, add the butter and the powdered sugar, and then that's the top. Let's see how we're doing on the. 45. 45 seconds. I'm very excited because I'm really not, I don't do a lot of baking. I do a oh, lot of cooking, yes you do. but I don't do a lot of baking. speed it up a little bit. Okay. Perfect. And then start incorporating that sugar. Can you move these out of the way? We've almost got a sandwich box. We're seconds away. Mmm, it's louder, it's hard to talk in. It is, but that's why we're close to the camera. This is Alexa. Alexa, stop. She can't hear over the beaters. Alexa, stop. All right. How about oh that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> The pizza oh, is outstanding. Now we just season a little bit, a little bit of salt on there. Oh wow! Holy cow! And then we'll put those in the oven, but since we're running a little short of time, I'm going to go ahead and put this one right on the sandwich. <laughs> okay. I'm going to trade with you. Okay. And I'm going to. Oh, you're going to go for the sandwich, huh? I'm going to eat the sandwich. I'm going to pass the sauce. All right. And I'm going to talk about lemonade. Okay. Because lemonade is a really fun thing to take on a picnic with you. And I like to, come over here. I'm going to need to clean up some of our stuff here real quick. 
I like to use mason jars. Oh, mason? Yeah. Who mason. is mason? <laughs> I don't know, but I like his jars. I like to use his jars. <laughs> and I like to make a little cute thing, and this is just really nice. And uh, if you haven't ever made homemade lemonade, it's really delicious and really easy to make. You just have to squeeze a lot of lemons. And it takes about a cup and three quarters sugar and eight cups of water and about a cup and a half of fresh squeezed lemon. You want to make sure you get the seeds out and the juice out. But it just uh, is great. And you want to uh, heat up one cup and, and make a... Uh, Oh, what is it, the word I'm looking for? Syrup. A, a simple syrup of the. There yes, go. there we go. Another fun thing to do when you're picnicking is to have nice little wraps of oh, cute. your silverware and stuff. And see, I've got a straw here for our uh, oh. lemonade. I've got silverware. And then because we have an Asian salad, I have some chopsticks just in case anyone wants to do that. Now, Julie, how would you serve that salad if you were doing it on a picnic? Oh, well. Isn't this fun? How about oh putting gosh. them what a great idea. in little to-go boxes? That's great. So, I'm, I'm missing my salad, so. I'll, let's, we'll serve it up in just a second. Okay. I want to show you the ooey gooey, the topping that Julie was making. I just poured that on top of the um, bottom that we used earlier. I'm going to put this to the side, and let's bring out the finished product. Let's see what that looks like. So this would go into a 350 degree oven for 40 to 50 minutes. Looky there. And as you can see, it's got the cookie bottom or the cake bottom, and then it's got the ooey gooey part of the top. Why don't you yeah. try one and see what you think? Okay, twist my arm. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, these are horrible. <laughs> you, know, you don't want any of these. I gave you dessert first, but you gotta try the sandwich oh, too. Oh yeah. Listen, can you hear that crunch? Mm. I'm telling this you, the double dredging makes all the difference in this. Mm -hmm. All right, put your dessert down. Okay. And I'm going to get your salad, and I'm going to try some of your salad. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> and I'm not talking about Kevin this time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Oh my gosh. Well, can I lick my hands? Yes. Ah. And your wrist and whatever else. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get in here and grab a fork and taste your salad right out of the bowl. Yes, please do. That's the cilantro. I know, I'm get moving the back. cilantro away. Or I'll get all these big noodles. But the the uh, peanut butter smell is so great. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Hey folks, mm. we're going to have to leave you because we've got some extra work that we've got to do here in the kitchen. <laughs> Hang on some of that lemonade. Absolutely. I want to tell you about next week. Oh, that's next week. Next week we're doing a two-parter. Barb will be back. Next week Barb is cooking. I'll be there with her. And then the week after I'm cooking and she'll be with me. But our theme is $10 dinners. So we have to make a dinner for four on $10. So come back next week and see if Barb can do it. And then come back two weeks from tonight and see if I can do it. <laughs> I have my own calendar. Yes, you do. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us Thank tonight. You for it was a me. it was a ball. We had a great it time. Fun. It goes so fast, doesn't it? It went so fast. And look what we made in 30 minutes. We got it in there. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next week on Sing for Your Supper. <laughs>